Okay, everybody, I am so excited today because I am joined by Malin Ackerman and Lorenza Izzo, who star in The Aviary, which is out in theaters and on demand Friday. How are you guys doing today? Great. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm doing good. I'm excited to talk to you guys. So Malin, which I thought was really interesting about this is that you're also an executive producer on this. So when you're acting in as a lead as well, is that challenging? Do you have like both hats on at once or do you have to like kind of separate that? Um, not, not really. I mean, this was such a wonderful shoot. There weren't many, uh, issues that needed to be discussed. It, it's more, it was more the putting it together in the beginning, you know, and, and getting everyone on board and, and figuring out how we wanted to make this. It's just that thing of, um, if I'm, I'm going to play a lead in something, it's nice to have some creative say, uh, in, in how this is going to go down because it falls on our shoulders on myself and Lorenza. And so, um, it just gets you to, to, to get behind it even more so. Um, but it was really just, it was, it was a cinch. We had the best people involved, a great crew and Chris and Jennifer, um, who writer directors were just absolutely a pleasure to work with. So um, it wasn't too much. It was more just focusing on on the 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 actual script and what was at hand with Lorenza and I playing these crazy roles. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great answer. And it's exciting to hear that it was like a good set and good crew. And I, I think it's cool too that you're producing so much stuff now, which I'm excited to see what you bring out next. Now, Lorenza, having starred in a couple of horrors and thrillers already now and now doing this, are you a fan of the genre yourself, like watching the genre? Are you like a horror person or you, is that just happen to be what you act in? I've been actually consciously taking a break from horror. Like for a few years, I, I didn't do anything even remotely scary because I, I I had done it a lot and I just wanted to, I, I'm of a mind of wanting to do everything, all mm. kinds of different genres and just diving into different media. But when I read the script, I was like, this is amazing. This is <laughs> human mind horror, which I find the scariest. Like, give me that over anything. I am not a fan of watching horror. I get scared so easily. I watch movies, but like, it's just, I don't even do it. You have to like, really like trick me. Like my friends will trick me into watching them. That's the only way I'll watch a scary movie or a horror movie. So this one to me was just, it was just so well written. Chris and Jen did a phenomenal job writing it. And, and, and for me, you know, it was in the middle of COVID. I'm a huge fan of Mullins. And I was like, this is something I need to do. This type of scary is a really, really like, uh, incredibly psychologically scary, scary. So it was, a, it was kind of a no brainer. Yeah, no, and you absolutely crush it here. And it's exciting to see you like really go to intense levels in this film. So I'm excited for people to see that. And now, Malin, I have to bring up too, I am the biggest fan of this movie, Wanderlust. I remember going to a theater, didn't know what I was even seeing, and I was blown away, especially by your performance in that. So I, I want to know, with your range and all these different roles you do, is comedy acting the most challenging, as a lot of actors say, or would you disagree with that? For me personally, comedy acting is where I feel the most comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I just have grown up in a, in a, in a life full of sarcasm and I, I feel great around all of it. Um, I, I personally think things like this film are more challenging. Uh, there's just so much more, uh, you know, with comedy, it's all about timing. And so you really have to have great directors and great people to work with because if the timing's off, then the whole thing is off and you can, you can just, it's a bust. But I mean, Wonderless, you were mentioning some of the best comedians um, with Paul Rudd. I mean, it was, I could barely keep a straight face. It was, <laughs> that was the biggest challenge. Is just Such a good movie. It is. It I'm is. A too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And but, um, Colin, you're being humble because timing is also for <laughs> have to naturally have it like, or you have to really work on it. And you're like, just like naturally incredibly good at that. Thanks. Yes, Lord. totally. <laughs> and Lorenza, having worked with a legend like Quentin Tarantino recently, is there anything you learned from being on that set that you bring with you now to your current projects? Oh my God, <laughs> a lot. But you know what? More than anything, enjoyment. Quentin enjoys what he does so much. There's such a special energy in his sets of like, can you believe that this is what we're doing? He does a thing where it's like 4 a.m. or like really tired, everyone's exhausted and like, we're supposed to rap, we're already over time. And like, everyone goes quiet and he'll go, 
and why do we do this? And then the whole crew and the cast will go, because we love making movies. <laughs> Just like, remember the first time here that literally everybody on set, like that was a huge set. It was like over 200 people. We were shooting the, the ending scene and we did that a couple of times and there's just such a natural, authentic joy for what that man does that it just translated. It's like, we were all doing it. It was like Brad Pitt and me. And I'm like, we love making movies. What is that? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that is something I'll never forget that I take with me ever. I love that answer. Everybody, you know, <laughs> just watch these two absolutely kill it in the aviary, which is in theaters on demand. This Friday, Malin and Lorenza, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to talk to you in the future one day. Thank you. I hope so.